Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of Viva La Juicy Glace, the new fragrance launched this year 2017 by Viva La Juicy or the House of Juicy Couture. This fragrance is a direct spin-off from last year's Viva La Juicy Sucre, but this time it's more Viva La Juicy on ice. So in recent Viva La Juicy flanker turnouts, we have noticed that with Rosé, Sucre, and now with Glace, that one, we're going in a more French twist because we did have Noir, but that got broke up by Gold Couture, but each one has a different meaning. So Rosé obviously means like Rosé, Rochambe, Rose Champagne, Roses, uh, Sucre means sweet sugar dessert, and Glace means ice or crystals. So the box looks like this this time. It says Viva La Juicy Glace. And you've got this kind of like iridescent silver glitter fading down into almost like a high gloss uh, fuchsia pink. And then the sides of the glitter continues just as Juicy Couture on either side. And then the top is solid glitter. And it is almost slightly textured. So that's what the box looks like. Your bottle this time looks like this. And it is a white iridescent bottle. It is still kind of see-through. Um, don't know if that's something that you guys will be able to notice or not. It is still see-through. Um, so you can still see through the bottle. But the, uh, well that doesn't help as much. But it's very super iridescent. Slight pink iridescent. You've got a little bit of a pink tinge done to the Juicy Couture logo. Versus the original Viva La Juicy, which looks like this. So as you can see, there are a few changes. Instead of it being a charm on here, we have, you know, a feather poof sort of thing. So it's definitely a fun little update to the Viva La Juicy bottle. Um, the notes of this fragrance, you have top notes of Italian frozen Italian mandarin, processed cases, leaves, and lush pear sorbet. Um, the heart combines with jasmine. An orange blossom with base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, sandalwood and vanilla. I apparently don't know how to read things. But anyway, so this fragrance is, I definitely think, does fit to its name, Viva Juicy Glace. It is definitely Viva on Ice. Now, one of my friends and a fellow subscriber here um, did tell me his opinion. This is Viva Juicy's interpretation of Rihanna's Kiss, and I can definitely see where he's coming from on that. They do share kind of a similarity in the floralness of these two fragrances, but it's still slightly different at the same time. So, when you first spray it, I get the frosted cases, leaves, and the frozen Italian mandarin. The Parasar Bay is kind of there, but it's more of those two at the very beginning that you get more than you get the Parasar Bay. As it starts to dry down, there are two different types of jasmine in this fragrance. So the jasmine is definitely a contender in the heart of this fragrance. And definitely does give it that signature Juicy Couture lineup as the original Juicy did have, uh, or original Viva, I guess I should say, had um, jasmine in the heart. The orange blossom is also from the original Viva. And it's a little bit different this time, I feel like. And it kind of is a little bit more frozen and a little bit more softer than it is in the original Viva La Juicy. So, as it starts to dry down, you get the sandalwood and the vanilla, but there's almost a slight caramelness to it that lends itself back to the original Viva La Juicy. So, overall, this is a really, really nice interpretation of the original Viva. It is a completely different fragrance if you're not into the heavy, caramel, heavy sweetness of the original Viva La Juicy, but you don't like as floral as rosé. This is a nice middle ground as it's still slightly floral, but still slightly sweet. So, lasting power. I get about six hours of lasting power on this fragrance, which is really, really nice. Um, it is an eau de parfum, so you do get a little bit of that longer lasting power. Um, I would definitely say this is more a spring and summer fragrance. Based on the notes, I thought this was going to be more of a winter fragrance, but definitely does fit itself more toward the warmer months as a cooler type of fragrance. Um... But I definitely do think it's a daytime wear fragrance, and it's definitely something that could be worn as an office fragrance as well. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy Glace. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.